May the best man win. Oh, I'm pulling the push up. Oh, I'm pulling the push up back, can't we? Oh, I'm pulling the push. This is it. Tom versus Shuri for one last time. This is the final week that our Road to Glories are facing off, and this week it's going to be double coins. So it's all to play for. I'm currently losing to Shuri, so this is the week. We have to get it right. And that means I'm going to send everything I possibly can in my club. I'm gutting the club out. I'm getting rid of everyone. And I'm building the best team I've ever seen. I don't care that I've been held back by discards of Lewandowski and Modric and anyone else I've quick sold on this series. I'm going to build a super team. So I went into the SBC section. I was thinking, hmm, what can I send? How can I send it? What is the best space to use? I looked at Firmino and I was interested. I was very, very interested in Roberto Firmino. That end of an era card was eyeing me up. However, this all changed when I saw the Liga earned compensation picks had been released. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to sit there and do the Firmino SBC if I don't know what I'm going to get from these reds. So to get these reds, I called in a good friend. Wagwan, show me your trim. Go side on. Whoa! Yes, look at that. Tell him, what's your name? Who are you? My name's Archie. We're picking Ligerton players, and if they're good, they're going into Thomas's team. Oh. Who we get? Who we get? Ooh, 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 wait, 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 don't pick anyone yet. Wait, oh wait, don't pick anyone. Oh, Archie, hey, dog. Who do we? No, Mendes, Verratti. Nice pick. Right, you're allowed to pick one of these players. Who do you think would be best? Uh, okay, I have to go Nuno Mendes. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Great decision. High five. Let's go. Right, you get the next one. Pack two. Oh! Wait, Pat Marquinhos! Let's go! Oh, come on! Oh, come on, man. That's too easy. Yep, pick your Marquinhos. Uh, you don't... Wait, you need to stall. No, nope, we're in. Oh! Ben yes. Yedda for Anna. Yes. I'm getting Ben Yedda. Goodbye for Anna. Farewell. Yeah. No, 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 no. You almost just quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right up there, and then R two. Yeah. Maybe that's the missing ingredient. Maybe I should have done that earlier. I get a six-year-old on the channel, and he gets better pack luck than I have in the last six weeks. But he was not done there. We have Foot Champs qualifier packs to open as well. Prime gold players. Yeah. Oh, good. We can pack amazing people from here. <gasps> Did yeah. we get a walkout? You'll learn one day, kid. You'll learn <gasps> one day. Front. Pogba. <gasps> get him. Get him. Get him. Get no. him. What? You want me to get Haaland? Who do you think I am? What do you mean? Who do you what? Haaland. What, you want me to get Harlan? best this season. The Foot Champs Qualifier Packs didn't bring any luck. However, them reds are massive for the final week because it means I can sell my tradable Marquinhos, my tradable Mendes, and I can sell the rest of that team because we're upgrading the team once again for one more time, one last dance. The team is going to get better. And I have an unbelievable budget. Right, 2.1 mil chat, and I've got Mendes, Marquinhos, Ben Yedda. So chat, what you're saying is this. Ah, uh, look, could I get some Bundesliga? Thing is, can I afford Musiala and Mane and Kimmich? I think I'm asking for too much. Voila! Sadio Mane! Quick sell TIFOs. Oh, we're in the trenches, chaps. It's June the 10th and I'm quick selling TIFOs. Let's go, man. Please. Yes. Yes. Come on, man! That's too easy! Why are you laughing at Sane? Look, they're not allowed near each other. They're on the other side of the pitch. We do have an issue. I've got 10k for a goalkeeper. Big Minerals. Here we go. Tom signing for Big Minerals FC. What a team I have created, people. Look at that, man. That is a serious team. Now, you know me and I know you. I've been getting good records on this road to glory with average teams, with worse teams than this. Anything less than a rank one on the final week is an absolute failure. It really is as simple as blink. And you'll miss it. Within 38 minutes, I got to 8-0. and oh. That is pretty good going. You know, we're speed running our way through champs. Come back in a different setting. Won the next two games. We're 10-0. and oh. 
We are back to where we usually are, but this was the time to upgrade the road to glory for one last time. Have I got any XP stuff to do, boys? It wouldn't be an RTG episode without bashing season progress. So I thought, you know what? Let's run it back one more time, yeah? I need to get to level five season progress because at the end of that, I get the choice of a 584 pack or a team of the season player. Now, these objectives are a little bit difficult or time consuming. Probably time consuming, that's a better word to use. We had to win games, we had to score goals from crosses. They had to score three goals from crosses. We had to win games in the ultimate team of the season cup. Got the wins done and then after all of that was complete and my sweet time was taken up, we were at level five. Now, I'm a brave man. I'm a man that lives on the edge. I believe in brave choices bring better rewards. So. I decided to take the team of the season player because my thinking is, if I take the team of the season player, I'm going to pull someone big. I'm going to get the upgrade we need. I'm going to take this team to a new stratosphere. Any toss. This is the most luck-based random pack ever. I don't think you'll find a worse team of the season pack than that. That is the lowest of the low, and he's definitely not upgrading my team. Maybe fortune doesn't favor the brave. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not doing it again. What we now need to do is go from 10 and 0 to 20 and 0. But as we know, these are the last 10 games. They always are the hardest. What I will say is Ben Yedda, Sane, and Mane. If you're considering buying any of these, they are very, very good. And let me show you why. Yeah, Ben Yedda with his low driven finishes is absolutely ridiculous. All you have to do is tap circle. There's your tip. You come here for gameplay tips, you get one. Just tap circle. It gives you low driven. You can do it finesse. You can do a shot, anything. Mane is value for money, even at 1.2 mil. I think he's a broken, broken card. I think Musiala is as well. I think criminally, criminally underpriced. But maybe it's because they're in the ultimate tots, like Musiala's in ultimate tots. Maybe that has brought his price down. Still think it's a bargain at, at what, over a mil? around a million my market knowledge is terrible now we're getting through these games we're cutting through people but as weekend league goes there is always a game that you'll slip up on it's like mario kart you know when you're, you're cruising in mario kart you're in first place and you see that banana skin but you don't see the banana skin and you, get, you trip up on it and before you know it you're in sixth so that is what happens here we go three nil down now i'm not one to make excuses but this weekend league was played in scorching weather, it was on the Saturday. I was hot, I was sweaty, I was bothered. I was very, very bothered, and I could not find a way to break this man down until comeback complete, surely. <sighs> Gold summer, man. We stick it on summer and go again. Leroy Sane, Sane. We're having a gritty off, man. We're all in now. Big 15 minutes coming up. I'm not making any subs. I believe in the 11 that have come on this pitch and started this game. Oh, shouldn't have left it for now. The banana skin has well and truly slipped us up and the will has come out. I feel like I haven't seen this will in a few weeks. We've been unbeaten for so long. The will is here and the will could change everything because if this goes wrong, we could be in so much trouble. And now it is in the will's hands. I hope for something easy. We sit and we pray. Please, please, please. Of course it is, the hardest one. Of course it is. I could have put my money on that. Well, you know, the worst part of this upside down team is it's actually on no chemistry as well. It's like a double whammy. You get no chemistry in any player and you have to swerve them upside down. So this is how we built the team to look like. Mane left back, Sane, Ben Yedder in goal. That is how the upside down team looks. Yeah, just simple as that. No, the point of the upside down is the chemistry has to be off as well. They have to be off chemistry. Oh, he's got Caden and Mbappe. Everyone's got Caden and Mbappe. Right, go, go, go. We go 1-0 down early on, but a catastrophic mistake from my opponent makes it 1-1 with Matthias. And you know how I knew I was in trouble? This guy is shooting from the most ridiculous angles. He's seen Ben Yedder and he fancies chances. Look at that, Jan Sommer. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> I can score with this team, but the hard part is keeping it out of my net when my goalkeeper is the same height as FG. Give it close. Give it close. Yeah, Matthias' shop house is too high, yeah. But I've just... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's overthinking it. He's overthinking it still. Oh, we're in. We're in. Could not... Penalty! Penrith! Sommer! Ha, ah, it's so quick. Wait, on time, Sommer! Go! Oh, no, the controller disconnected. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, come on. Yes. We're just one more defense. 
One more tackle. It's over, boys. Not like this. Not like this. How has that happened? Heading into extra time, I've absolutely dominated my opponent. 22 shots to nine. XG of five. T is 2.7. I know in extra time, I've got this win. Turns out, so does my opponent. The most FIFA community move ever. This guy quits at 4-4 in the 90th minute. And that means we have to run back the challenge one more time because that game does not count. My head was so hot. I took a six hour break to cool down, let the weather settle down. And after 35 minutes, I'm still losing 2-1. It's just too hard with this team. Into Matthias, he scores them every day of the week. Get the ball, go again, come on boys. New Mensch. I'm looking for Sommer. I see you, Sommer. He makes some terrible runs. He's getting an assist over Tyus. Yes. A Sommer assist. It's a miracle. This opponent's not going anywhere, though. He soon makes it 3-3. But there's one more thing for Sommer to do as a striker. Sommer. He's done it again. He can't score. He can set up some goals. The double banana skin has been avoided. And if I'm good enough to win with an upside down team, I have to be good enough to win the last three games with my main team once again. Now I've got Sane, Mane, Ben Yedder up front again. It feels normal. I go through and I get myself to 18 and 1. This is it, people. This is the game for rank 1. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Rank 2, rank 1. There's a difference. One rank. When you've got someone as good as Leroy Sane, it's a little bit anticlimactic. Within six minutes, he's out of there. 19 and 1. Rank 1 secured. We did it, boys. When I needed to most in the last episode, I've got the rank one. Now, before I tell you where the rewards are, I do want to say a massive thanks for all the love throughout the series. This has been really, really good, really enjoyable. And I'm sure you guys have enjoyed it as well. We've seen all the comments. We've seen how much love you're all giving it. And I just want to say a massive thanks for supporting the Pigeon to Glory. Now, I'm going to need you to head over to Shory's YouTube channel for the finale. This is where the series ends. This is where there'll be a winner crowned. And it's all going down on Shory's channel. Get yourself over there.